Hey fam, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be creating a look with the brand new Odin's Eye X Tina, the Fancy Face Hummingbird Palette. I had so much fun creating this look today, and if you'd like to see how I did it, and that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and stay tuned. We're gonna get into it right now. Okay y'all, so let's go ahead and create a look with this beautiful hummingbird palette from Odin's Eye and Tina from the Fancy Face. This color story looks like a vacation in a palette. I am so excited for this. I love that Tina took inspiration from Jamaica, which is oh, such a beautiful country. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm gonna start with the shade Hibiscus on this little blending brush. And I'm gonna try to use as many colors as I can per the use. And I wanna do like a multicolored crease. So starting with this really gorgeous bright like fluorescent coral which is so stunning i'm just gonna pack that here in the inner part of my lid and then up into the crease and then next i'm going to dip into lagoon and i'm hoping that this won't blend strangely we're going to just try to be really careful and pop that next in the crease pretty much in the second third this color is definitely a bit brighter than it looks in the pan the pan it looks like a deep navy and then in the outer third, I'm gonna reach into Star Apple, which is this deep purple. And we're just gonna place that in the outer corner and the outer third of the crease. And so far, this is really, really pigmented. The mattes are packing on really well. I'm just gonna bring a little bit more of that blue into the purple, but I'm not gonna do too much blending with the red and the blue because I'm concerned. Then I'm gonna take this big fluffy clean brush and I'm gonna just sort of blend the edges. Again, I wanna just be really careful because I don't know how the coral and the blue would blend. It might get a little bit purple, but it might get a little bit muddy. And I'll just blend the edge here. Just kind of soften it. We don't want any harshness. And into the purple. Next, I'm gonna go back and cut my crease with the Glamolite Icing Base. So I cut my crease with the Glamolite Icing Base, and then I also went over that base with the NYX Glitter Primer. So I'm gonna start on the outer edge of my eye, and I wanna start with the shade Hummingbird, this beautiful shimmer. And I'm just gonna pop that in the outermost area of my lid. And I wanna to try to use a bunch of shimmers. We're not gonna carry this too far in. Super pretty. Next, we're gonna use the shimmer Blue Fields. And I wanna run that right alongside the purple. Next, I'm gonna reach into the shade Tropics, which is like a pretty aquamarine. I'm gonna place that right up against the blue, kind of drag it over a little bit. Then I'm gonna grab the shade Feathers, and we're gonna lay that right next to this blue. Next, we're gonna reach into this beautiful duochrome fancy. It's green, gold, orange, pink, and purple, like multi-chrome deliciousness. And I wanna pop that here at the very, very front of my lid. So this is how the eyes are looking so far. I'm gonna go ahead and create a wing liner with my NYX Vivid Brights in Vivid Violet. And then I'm also gonna go into my waterline with my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Woodstock, it's like a hot pink. Pop on mascara, lashes, and the rest of my makeup, and we'll be back for the lower lash line. Okay, so I have done the rest of my face except for my lips and the lower lash line. So I was trying to decide what to do. I'm like, we have so many opportunities here, but I think what I wanna do is kind of mirror what we did on the top a little bit. So I'm gonna start with Star Apple, the darker purple. I'm just using this little liner brush. And what I wanna do is just take this, hopefully not get too much fallout, here in the outer part of my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna reach into Lagoon and carry that a little bit further in. Praying to God that fallout can go away. And then at the inner part, I wanna reach back and do hibiscus, that pretty coral. And I just wanna carry that to the center. Then I wanna reach back into the palette for an inner corner highlight. And I think I wanna try the shade Beach Sands on this little Marc Jacobs brush. I'm gonna pop that here in the inner corner. That is beautiful. And then with the same exact little brush, I wanna dip back into Fancy and just give this more time to shine. I'm gonna pop that along the lower lash line over top of all of these mattes so we can kind of see the gradient. I think that looks so cool. It has all the different pops of color underneath the shimmer, so I think it's gonna pull out different parts of this multi-chrome. 
Y'all, please pray for my softbox because it is popping off all day. You do not need to buy a new softbox. So I decided to reach into Beach Sands and just pop a little bit of that on my brow bone just to get a little bit more use out of that color. I think it's so beautiful. The only colors we did not use today are Red Hills, the, that kind of brick color, Swallowtail, that pretty orange, and Clear Blue, that matte pale blue. So now I'm gonna throw in some lower lash mascara and a lippy and we'll be back for the final look. So this is the final look. What do y'all think? I had so much fun playing with this palette. It honestly felt like all of the colors of a tropical vacation, which is my MO. <laughs> it's my favorite kind of vacation. I think the tones will work really beautifully together. y'all the behind the scenes <laughs> i really like this lippy i ended up pairing the rare beauty this is like that comfort liquid lipstick thingy mo bobber in the shade confident i pulled this from my shop my stash i just i love this i know that maybe we're in a darker time of year maybe these are a little bit more summery colors but y'all i just live eternally in summer <laughs> i wish it could be summer all the time oh, i just think they are so pretty it kind of gives like an oil slick effect with the gradient i don't know i'm so happy this is not what i had pictured when i looked at the palette this morning. I wasn't sure exactly what I was gonna do. All the colors were tempting me so much and I was like, I could go a million different directions with this. And I'm so happy with the one that I took. I even really like the beach sands on the brow bone. I think it's really pretty and in the inner corner. I just, I love it. I love it so much. I'm so happy with this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and maybe what colors you would have chosen to play with, what kind of look you would have created. I would love to hear that. I should ask you guys that more, duh, right? But anyway, thank you so much for being here with me today. I love you all so much. And until the next video, bye.